In this video, we'll learn how to record your screen on your PC without using an external software. So let's begin. There are multiple ways to record your screen. However, one of the best ways, in my opinion, is to use the NVIDIA Screen Recorder, which in most cases comes inside the Windows itself, provided you have an NVIDIA graphics card installed in your system. Let's learn how to set up your system properly so the recording quality is top notch and how to start and stop recording on your PC. For this, of course, we need to get on our computer. So let's move. So on your PC, you need to go on your keyboard and you need to press these three keys. So Shift, Alt, and Z. So you guys can see as soon as I press Shift, Alt, and Z, NVIDIA GeForce Experience shows up on my screen. And right now, as you guys can see, I'm recording right now. So it's, if I click on recording, it's giving me an option to stop and save, but that's because I'm already recording. If I am not recording, it's going to then give me an option to start recording. And before I start recording, I can get into settings and make sure that things are going well. I'm going to actually go into settings and I'll show you how to set up things properly. So let me go back on my PC and show you how to set it up. So on the PC, as you guys can see, we have the settings option available here and we also have the settings option available here. So you need to click on settings. Once you click on settings, you're going to see home and under that multiple options. So first of all, you need to click on the recordings option and you need to select the temporary files and then the video files. So this is where you save your videos and this is where the temporary files exist. You can leave the temporary files folder as it is. You don't need to do anything on this, but on the videos one, you can change it if you like. So it is default set at users. Um, and then your folder and then the video folder. But if you want to change it, maybe put it on a different place, you can do so. Uh, right now, you can see it's grayed out because I'm already recording my screen. So it's not giving me that option to change, but you will definitely get that option to change. Now, next option is after recording, you need to go into audio and you need to first of all, make sure that you have these settings correctly placed. So right now I've set up my microphone's volume at 100%. Um, depending on your microphone's quality and depending on what type of microphone you have, you can set this up and also you need to select the source. So right now I have three different sources so I can choose to record my audio from the webcam that I'm recording this video on. Um, then I have this option, Arian webcam, and then also have the micro, Microsoft 3 USB audio device. This is the uh, headphones that I'm using right now. So I've selected this as the option to record and then the volume is here. And also I can choose to boost uh, the volume if I want to. So right now I've set it up at 30, but I can, you know, increase it, boost it more or uh, less. Now let's go back. Um, after you've done these settings, you need to go into video capture. So once you are in the video capture, as you guys can see again, because I'm recording right now, so it's grayed out, but these are some of the options that you have here. So quality, you can set it up as low. It is going to give you a smaller file size once it is recorded, then medium, and then the high quality where the file size is going to be large, but the quality is going to be better. And also you can choose to go custom as well, where you can choose different file sizes, frame rates, etc. Now you guys can see that I've set up the resolution at 4K, 2160p 4K, and frame rate at 60 frames per second, bit rate at 60, but you can change this uh, from 50 to 60. Um, you can increase the resolution, decrease the resolution if you like, and also you can do the same thing with the frame rate as well. These are pretty much all the settings that you need to do once you've done with this. Once you're done with these settings, um, all as I said, all you need to do is go back and start recording from here. Uh, right now, it says stop and save. You would see the start button here. Just click on the start button and then cross it from the top right corner. Um, it'll disappear. You are not going to see any kind of um, watermark, any kind of logo, any disturbance, everything on your screen is going to be visible. In my personal experience, this works way better than OBS Studio and some other softwares that come aftermarket. This software works really good and it's built in. You just have to press a couple of buttons and it starts recording instantly. It doesn't take a lot of extra load on your PC. So your PC is not going to slow down. One of the best softwares that I've used so far to record my screen. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.